can you tell me what the strange growths are on the tips of some of these branches of my cherry tree? This tree has been healthy up until an ice storm we had this past winter. The tree suffered some damage at, as some of the branches are dead and the other ones now have this fungus or growth and I don't know if it's a disease that will kill the tree or can I spray it with something to save it? Thanks for your help, sincerely, Carolyn. Mm -hmm. How about that? So she really wants to try to save that cherry tree. So I'll start here. Great picture, we appreciate that picture uh, first and foremost. So guess what, it is a fungus, mm -hmm. right? It's mm -hmm. black knot, Black knot, yeah. that's what it is. Mm -hmm. So you, you black knot on there, and with, if you got cherry tree, you don't have a lot of problems. <laughs> they, they have, that, I, that's for sure. I had some in my, in my yard, sure. I had some cherry tree in my yard, they had those black knots on it all the time. You no, know, you, if you want to try to save that tree or try to prune, you can prune those off there. You no, know, you know, but you need to sterilize your pruning sh pruning shield oh, yeah. after each point. cut with some good bleach point. or water. Sterilize those, and also you need to get those from around the tree. Mm -hmm. If anything fall from the ground and everything, but so practice good sanitation. Good sanitation, mm -hmm. but you got a cherry tree, you're gonna have it's <laughs> gonna have some problems. You gonna have some problems with that cherry tree. I, I I just got tired of my problem with my cherry tree, and I made one good cut. I made one good pruning cut on. Oh, right at the bottom. <laughs> right at the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> right at the base. So, so yeah, I just didn't, I just didn't lie. I, I, but it was pretty tree when we were young, but when you got a little older, you did start having problems. Yeah, it's definitely going to have problems. Mm -hmm. This is, again, a fungus, you know, mm -hmm. black knot. It mm -hmm. attacks the prunus uh, family, okay. genus, okay. prunus mm -hmm. genus, uh, which are cherries and plums and apricots and things like mm -hmm. that. Usually in the fall, you get swellings on the twigs and the branches. Mm -hmm. And then the next season, you get the black galls. So the best thing is to try to do, like Mr. Brooker said, you prune those out, sanitize those pruners mm -hmm. if you can, practice good sanitation, pick it up, look for resistant varieties. Yeah. I'm always big on that. You can try using a fungicide. Yeah. <laughs> you have to read and follow the label, yeah. you can try it. You know, chlorothionyl is something that you can use. Uh, Copper-based fungicide is something that's recommended as well. Uh, I don't know if they're gonna be 100% you know, effective, mm -hmm. but you know, there's some means to be able to control it using a fungicide. But, yeah, I would go back to the cultural practices yeah. if at all possible. I know my neighbor like him. He done put about four or five in the yard. <laughs> he just like those trees, like those cherry yeah. trees, and they, 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 they constantly they come down. And, they have beautiful yeah, you know, he, blooms. He, I, he, I understand he, that. He, 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 he like here, he really need, but he just keep planting them different ones. Uh, different, right. Not there, so you don't have a problem with it now. You don't have a problem, so mm -hmm. that is a fungus. Uh, black knot, Ms. Carolyn. So thank you for the question, and thank you again for the picture, and good luck to you. Thanks for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed it. To subscribe, click below.